Hey, welcome back to the Rap Cab. You already know what's going on today. We got Ray Band BGM in the cab today, bro. How you doing, man? Doing good. What's up? What's up? What's up? Hey, man. You know, swimming, bro. So, tell me about this uh this new project that you got out right now. Since 1998. Yeah, that's um. Well, that's actually my first project that I dropped. My first little EP I dropped. Um, since 1998, honestly, man. I have so many titles I wanted to name it, you know, because I'm like, man, it's my first EP, you know, this is my first, you know, way to get out there. I'm a motherfucker, you know, know who I am and shit. So I came up with, I came up with since 1998 because, you know, I was born, I was born October 12, 1998. That's the year I was born. So I feel like shit ever since then, you know, it's just been my time. That's what I feel like. It's my time, man. And BGM, what, what, what does that mean? Well, uh, you start in with like Young Cat? All right. Alright, let, let me tell y'all, let me tell y'all, man, so, uh -huh. I met Kat, I met Kat, um, January, January, probably like 11 to 12, bro, mm -hmm. and, uh, um, cause I used to live in Dallas, Texas, bro, I used to live in Dallas, Texas about three years, and when I came back, I was wondering, like, who, who is Young Cat, like, who is everybody, you know, who is this dude, like, everybody keep talking about Young Cat, woo, woo, and what's so crazy, on my brother birthday, Day. Mm. Um, we was at the Westport, and I, I seen Young Cat. I seen everybody run up to that nigga, you know, like, oh, Young Cat, woo, woo. You feel me? So I was like, oh, so this who he is, you know, he, he popping in the city, you feel me? So mm -hmm. I felt like, you know, if I want to take this serious, I need to work with people, you know, that's, that's taking it serious too. So that's what I did. I sent them my music, whatever. Blood did not respond to me like a whole month later. Mm -hmm. A whole month later, he responded, talking about, that was you in that video? I'm like, yeah, that's me. He was digging my swag and all that. Mm -hmm. So, long story short, that's how me and him clicked. You know, I hit him up, mm -hmm. sent him my music. He didn't respond a whole month later. Mm -hmm. You feel me? <laughs> Watch this short video. He started fucking with me, bro. And then, mm -hmm. after that night, we talked on the phone. Literally, the next day, I met, I met him. Like, mm -hmm. I went over to his house. I got to know, bro. And that's when we made... Um, Feds on Future and Killer Quay. I don't know if you've heard that or seen that seen that yet, but that's out on YouTube too. Um, feds on Future and Young Cat and Killer Quay. I see college scratch. But yeah, man, uh, BGM, that's just block game music, you know, that's his label, you know. But to be honest with you, to be honest with you, I don't know you pay attention, but I changed my um my Instagram name. Oh, you did? Yeah, my Instagram uh -huh. name not BGM no more. It's just just Ray Benz and then G U N W C. That's my gang. That's my you know that's that's something that I'm trying to you know bring up, and that's what I'm trying to start with. But you know. I, f I fuck with Cat though. I fuck with a few people that's in BGM, but like mm -hmm. just at the moment, I'm I'm not calling myself BGM. You feel me? Like, yeah. like I fuck with them niggas individually. Them my brothers, you know. I, I, I fuck with them cause they cool people. But I feel like I'm, I want to put myself in my own lane, you know, and take off my own shit, my own label, do that. Cause I feel like if he can do that, I could do it too. You feel me? So, but yeah, shout out to BGM though. Most definitely. Hey, you, you said you from Dallas, huh? Mm -mm. Oh, you know, the no, from. Kansas City, Missouri. You came back from I Dallas. I came back from Dallas. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm from oh, okay. Kansas City, Missouri. Man, I'm, bro, I've been everywhere in Kansas City, bro. Mm -hmm. When I was a baby, I started off in the 30s. I was on 36 in Mungal. I grew up there a little bit, and I left, moved to Raytown, moved to the 50s, moved. I'm just been everywhere, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, out south, here, just back and forth. You know, I ain't never had a steady home. You know, I never had a home where I could just grow up into, you know what I'm saying, like other kids, you feel me? But, um, we left, we left to Dallas. We went to Dallas of 2000, 2015, I believe. Yeah, 2015. I was a freshman, bro. High school. And uh, you know, mom's gonna go down there, and start a new life and shit, whatever. No, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna front and be like, you know, I was just all, oh, I was a bad kid, so mama wanted to leave. You know, it was, it really didn't have nothing to do with me. You feel me? For real, just mama wanted a new life, better life for her and me. You feel me? And my little brother. So yeah, Dallas was cool though. I met I met a lot of people in Dallas. I met hella people in Dallas, you know. Shout out to my people in Dallas. That's what I had my that's actually what I had my first daughter at, bro. So you know, Dallas cool. That's that's second home. Most definitely that's second home. And after having your daughter, did you kinda get into a different mode? Uh like far as like what you be like. Like how is having a daughter? Oh man. Bro. It's a blessing, bro. You know, at that time I was only 17 with my first kid, you feel me? And at that time, bro, I was just thinking like, damn, 
I'm, I'm not ready for no kids. I'm not even gonna sit here in front with you. I wasn't. I wasn't ready for no kids, bro. I was, I was a kid myself. You know, I had hope, dreams. You know, I, I was. I was. I had. I had goals in life. I still got goals in life. That that didn't stop me from you know, from pursuing my dream, but. It just kind of slowed me down at that time, though. At that time, not right now, though. But at that time, bro, because I was already going through shit on top of that. And then to know I'm bringing a kid to this world, you know, I, I always told myself, when I have a kid, I want to make sure I'm financially wealthy. You know, I want to make sure I'm good. I want to make sure I'm, you know, I'm stable. I want, I don't want my baby not to worry about shit. You feel me? And at that time, I really couldn't do that for real, for real. So, you know, it's cool having a kid, bro, but that's not my only child, though, man. You know, you feel me? So, it's like, it's like now, it's like now, bro, I just feel like, I feel like I'm just, just meant to do this shit. I don't know. <laughs> for real. Yeah, bro, I feel you, bro. For real. Man, because you, because you've been, uh, you just dropped, uh, more than, I mean, all 2020 you've been dropping, really. Yeah, man, I've been trying to. Mm -hmm. What made you want to take that ultimate? jump to do this like do this more you know honestly bro i've been rapping since i was 11 mm -hmm. but i have never like thought about like oh i'm about to put i'm about to record myself and put it on the you know and put it out there to the world you know that wasn't on my on my mind mm -hmm. but then you know when i moved to texas that's where it's like motherfuckers was telling me like bro you need a you need a rap bro like i used to just be freestyling on rap the little shit that i used to you know write at, at home and people be like, bro, you need to just put that put that shit out there, let the world hear you. Mm -hmm. So that's exactly what I did, bro. And matter of fact, shout out to shout out to my man Will, man. Hey, shout out to my man Will. If he if he he low key the reason why I'm rapping too, because he the reason told he's the one who told me to put it out there. I used to rap to him. He'd be like, bro, why? let's go to the stool. You feel me? Let's go to the stool. Let's let's record this night this night because I always love music. I always had a you know my pops rap. And that's where I got that from my father. He was a rapper and shit. I don't know. I don't know if he was like known like I am now, but he and he had a whole CD. You feel me? Back in the day, and I used to listen to it. So it, that's that's what made me rap. And shit, I just I just took off with it, bro. When I when I made my first song, I mean my first video, talking my shit. I just fell in love right there. I fell in love the way I was in the studio recording. I fell in love. How the cameraman had the camera in my face, you feel me? I just fell in love with all that shit. So it's just, I'm, I'm not stopping, man. I can't stop. Mm -hmm. I can't stop. This, I got, this is what I want to live on, you feel me? This is what I want to do for life. You feel me? I want to I wanna forever do this shit, bro. So yeah. Man, because you was, you was saying some shit, bro. You was talking your shit, bro. <laughs> Literally, in that song, Talk My Shit. Yeah. Part one and part two out now. Definitely tap in, man. Because you said, and I don't know if it was that same song, but you said one of them, you like, I, she got, uh, uh, gave her my nuts like payday. Oh, you said something like oh, uh, that song, you like uh -huh. that? All right, so look, that that's not even talking my shit part one or two, bro. Mm -hmm. That's actually a, a single future in my um, my brother, um, Apollo T, man. Mm -hmm. And that song called No Hook, yeah, no hook, yeah, no it's hook. out yeah. now, yeah, yeah, that song out right now, man. Uh -huh. That's what I'm thinking of, yeah, No Hook, yeah, that mug crazy, man. So what was going on in your head when you was like uh going on with that right no hook no hook oh man um bro i'm gonna i'm gonna keep it a buck with you so like like i don't want to be like these niggas these niggas i'm about the name i don't want to be like them but like i kind of like look up to them and like like energy wise you know like like how how, how i come on beats is how i look up to you so like for example i listen to g herbo a lot i know a lot of people probably you know a lot a lot of people got got a lot of negative shit to say about him but they got a lot a lot of people got a lot of positive shit to, be, to say to say about him you feel me and like bro me i i a on beat off beat i don't care the nigga cold to me you know that's my opinion you feel me like mm -hmm. like you could like her to love it not nah, i don't care what you do that's my opinion you feel me and his energy the way he the way he you know the way he delivered the message to people i, I just love it bro because like i just i can sit there and really listen and shit that he be saying certain shit he be saying i could really relate to you feel me mm -hmm. yeah i'm not from chicago hell no nah. but nigga, you ain't gotta be from the same city to still relate to someone you know mm -hmm. and the other person who I listen to is Sada Baby. That energy, bro, that, that, that uh, the way he be, you know, he be so hype, he be so turned. You know, I get that from him. So right there, that song, No Hook, that's where I got that from. That, that's, that Sada Baby mentality, you feel me? That, that just be turned, be crazy, you feel me? That's, that's what I did, that whole song, bro. I was just turned, you feel me? I was just turned. Yeah, and you do, you do mention, like, 
about all the homicides like that's going on, bro. How has that affected you for like living in the city? Oh man, it's sad, bro. It's sad. I lost a lot of I lost a lot of my co my close friends from home, from the homicides, bro. So like, I just I just I'm gonna just say it like this, bro. This shit. This shit not gonna stop. I'ma just, I'ma just keep it being, you know, like it's not gonna stop. You feel me? But I just feel like, you know, we just need to wake up. You feel me? I just feel like we just need to wake up and understand, like, we only live once, you know. And you gotta put other. This is the problem. We don't put ourselves in other people's shoes. With other people, you know. I do that sometimes. I, I was that person where I didn't do that. I didn't, I was, I didn't give a fuck. You know? I didn't care who you was. But it's to the point where I had to put myself in their shoes and, and try to see how would I take that if I was them, you know? Like, and I just feel like, you know, these, these people that's out here, you know, doing this shit, bro, just think, bro, before you, before you make that action, before you make that move, you feel me? But, you know, I'm not going to sit here and just, you know, sit here and just, you know, try to keep your peace, bro, because everywhere, bro, it's not safe. And then that peace shit, bro, that's not really, that's not really the the mood right now like as you can see like for real you know like yeah i want to see that i would like i would love to see my city you know everybody loving each other and shit bro but like right now it's just, it's just i don't know if this shit gonna ever change bro it's been like this and it's very like history repeats itself man and that's exactly what we're going through that's how i just look at all this shit bro it's every all this shit happened before you know what i mean just history bro do you think people knew their knew more about the history that it will repeat itself? Yeah, motherfuckers knew this shit was gonna be hey, look, they knew this shit was gonna happen again. If not, it's probably not gonna happen the same exact way, you know, like how it did back in the day, but it's gonna come back around and then things gonna go, you know, oh, I seen this before. Oh, I learned this before. It's just in a different way. It's just, you feel me? Like, so if, if a per I feel like a person, you motherfuckers didn't feel like this was going to happen, all this shit that's going on right now, you're, I'm, hey, you're just crazy, bro. Like, because, come on, bro. Y'all really thought, I knew, I'm not trying to sound scandalous, man. I'm not trying to sound scandalous. You feel me? And for you motherfuckers out here that don't know what that means, it means just like, fucked up, <laughs> wrong, boosie, you feel me? <laughs> I'm not, but but I feel like, bro, ever since, you know, our president became president, I literally said it was over. I literally said that, bro. I said it's over. Man, me too. No cap. Now, you can take that how you want. <laughs> but, I, hey, I straight said it was over, bro. And then look what's going on. You feel me? Like, I just had a feeling this shit, bro. I had a feeling this shit was going to happen. Not like this, though. You feel me? Mm -hmm. I, didn't, I didn't know that. I'm not going to sit here and say I knew the corona was going to happen yeah. and all that shit. But, like, you feel me? But, like... Bro, this new world order, all that shit, you feel me? I knew that shit was gonna happen. Mm -hmm. And that shit, bro, that shit is in the making, bro. The I new believe. world order. Yeah. What you mean by that? Bro. I don't, man, hey. Basically, bro. What's like. Alright, so for example, right? They trying to, as you can see, they trying to take away, they trying to take away money. You know, they trying to do everything digital. Right, mm -hmm. with, the, with the credit cards and shit. Mm -hmm. You hear about the chips? The chips? Yeah. Like what you mean? They want to insert chips in, inside people. Mm -hmm. I, I guess that's supposed to be from if you want to go get a vaccine or get tested. No, not, not the vaccine. If you go get tested for the COVID. You talking about them chips that Elon Musk be doing, or is this some other type of chip? What chip? Who? You said who we doing? Elon Musk. You know the Tesla dude? Oh yeah, him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when they supposed to insert in us? Yeah, bro. Well, he said they. They uh they build they build chips or they're building chips to like put uh inside your brain if you got like a brain deficiency or some shit. But shit, I don't fucking know, bro. That shit weird. See, That's I like the, the beginning of like the human slash cy cyborg type of shit. <laughs> what what oh, you heard, God. bro? I heard some shit like where I just felt like no. And he said that he what he said he said I feel like yeah he said I feel like they gonna put the chips in our hand and shit whatever right and basically. 
they gonna have control of us, bro. That's simple because look, already, bro, the government got control. They can see it. They know what the fuck we do on our, for our, on our phones and all that shit, bro. So now when they get that chip, bro, they not even gonna really need that phone anymore because they know where we at. Yeah. Everywhere we go, bro, you know it's gonna have tracking a device. Exactly. Come on now. Then we can't use no more money. So you telling me our money and shit gonna be in our hands? So we go, we wanna go get something from a vending machine, something. We just have to just raise our hand up, type shit. Mm -hmm. Like that's weird as hell, you know? Like. And I just think, bro, it's just a whole lot of shit's gonna change, bro. A whole lot of, like, controlling shit, bro. Like, they gonna try to control us, bro. Like, from all angles. And it's gonna straight be, you know, you know what it is. Government, bro. Mm -hmm. For real. But, like, me, bro, honestly, I hope everything, you know, just go back normal. Cause I'll just, you know, you gotta wear a mask everywhere you go. And, you know, you got, like, bro, you should have, motherfuckers should have been. Already washing hands, mm -hmm. you and hand sanitizer, dirty keeping ass, up, motherfucker. Exactly, keeping up with yourself. So all that shit, bro. I be seeing how motherfuckers be reacting to that. I'm looking like, bro, like I still do that. Like, bro, that's nothing mm -hmm. new. But like this motherfucking coronavirus and some other bullshit, bro. Like this, this. I just hope this shit ends, bro. Because I'm not trying to forever live like this, bro. And bands we trust, throw up your gang signs I want all the smoke, let nigga fuck a peace sign Yeah, look me in my eyes, let nigga you gon' see fire Chop it like a VCR, it's gon' rewind Niggas blinkin', no, it's sucker snort, that ain't bull Your own nigga, he a op, he'll smack you I got vultures in them streets, they will eat you Told them to save me a plate, I like the E2 Keep a blicky, bully sticky, they gon' stick you Shout out to Will, that's my dog you from the west, ooh. I know a bitch that line you up for a few lines, ooh. I put some shells in your stomach, Taco Tuesday. <laughs> and her pussy told her I love her April Fool's Day. <laughs> Shank a nigga with this knife like I'm child play. <laughs> Send a nigga to the upper room, I'm Ray Ray. <laughs> Dick all up in her mouth, ain't my nuts like payday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like some payday. Nigga. Some motherfucking payday, nigga. Yeah. What you know about that? <laughs> it's a celebration, finally made it. I'm about to toast it. Fine, thick bitch. I'ma spread her ass like a Moses RK pussy. I'ma put it in like a token. Woods back to back. Think I'm dying. Nah, I'm just choking. Grandma pray for me every night. Cause she know I'm chosen. Count too much money. My hands ashy, nigga. Need lotion. No, I'm not from Kansas. Niggas wonder why I link with cat. Shout out Tad Lucci, real killer. He'll blow your back. Shout out Killer Quay. Grab a chop. I'ma grab the Mac. Lemon squeeze i'ma bless a bitch like she on her knees nigga please you couldn't be me if you can fit my jeans thug life like i'm Pac, i'm ryan on my enemies 7.62 singing yeah like alicia keys customized glock black and yellow sting like a bee got bitches fanning me with blues don't forget that i bleed nah i ain't cocky i just know there's no hole in me i ain't going to the club if i can't bring that fire with me bitch said she bored i told her ass to come get high with me we got me feeling like r kelly come and fly with me I don't give a fuck what you do, bitch. Don't lie to me on game, bitch.